So the big mid-season patch 14.10 just hit and I see all these videos and posts about big patch breakdowns and what does this mean and who's strong, who's weak and what the fuck did they do to Leto Tempo. I've been playing this game since season 2, taking it seriously since season 6 and I've seen my fair share of big overhauls like this. They're great for the entire player base. All the piss randoms that log into league like once a week have a reason to play with their shiny new toys and all the veterans that have been playing the game for several years have a chance to revel in the new change of scenery before wasting their lives playing 10 hours a day again. It's literally a win win for everyone. I've seen about 6 big changes like this over my time playing this game and what I just realized as I was reading through the latest patch notes was that this shit is absolutely meaningless. I mean sure it's all exciting and fun just like the 2024 preseason patch but it gets standardized pretty quickly. All these new things become the norm very quickly, much sooner than you realize, especially if you play the game more often. It's sort of like a drug in that sense. As I was skimming through the patch notes, I wanted to give you guys the shortcuts I use to parse through the bullshit real quick and get a handle on all the things happening without having to sit through all these tedious 2 hour patch rundowns you see all over YouTube. My name is Rabies and I'm a talentless monkey who started in bronze and got to diamond. If I can do it and I'm sharing my experiences with you, then you literally have no excuse why you can't get diamond either. So the number one thing you'll have to realize about patch notes is that most of the champion buffs and nerfs are fucking useless, they're absolutely meaningless to read through. People don't understand how minuscule the changes actually are in the grand scheme of things. How do I know this? Because I, probably like you, used to be obsessed about patch notes. I would watch all the newest tier list videos from skill capped and pro guides, which are totally useful by the way and not just cynical clickbait content, and all the freak patch rundowns. I thought that by wasting my time listening to this motherfucker ramble on and on about Seraphine W shielding, that I would become a better League of Legends player as a result. Guess where that shit got me? To understand how worthless most of these champion changes are, you have to understand it from Riot's point of view first. Actually, if you want to preserve your mental health playing this game, you have to understand it from Riot's point of view. See, Riot balances the game using advanced metrics that they're internally tracking. Stuff like champion win rates, item pick rate, and jungler heat maps only scratch the surface of the kind of intel that they have at their disposal for game functionality and player behavior. Any change that they make will conform to the guidelines that they've set. If a champion is severely overperforming or underperforming in a specific elo bracket, they'll try to buff or nerf it for that specific elo bracket. What they're targeting is marginal win rate increases. What you have to understand is that the win rate increases are way too small to have any sort of effect in your specific games. A patch is typically 14 days long. Assuming you're doing what the fuck I told you and not spamming 10 games a day, you should clock in about 30 ranked games per patch. The reality is, your sample size should be too small for most of the champion changes to mean anything to you. Yes, there are some misses like when Riot randomly buffed reworked the Rillian Soul and he became lower accurate for a few hours before they nerfed it back down again. But in most cases, all Riot is trying to do is make the champion balanced for the entirety of the player base. There's like 100 million players playing this game guys. If you think you're some sort of consequential force within the league, universe then you're just an idiot. These champion changes are supposed to be mostly imperceptible. Small enough for the average dumb fuck not to notice but big enough where it'll have the desired effect within the targeted audience on the global scale. When I was skimming through the patch notes I mostly just glanced over all the champion changes. I would read through the first line of the cringe ass blurb that they have or the lines of the actual numerical changes itself to have a generic overview of what the fuck is going on but I know most of it is so minuscule it won't affect me to any perceptible degree. Runes are also similar. The biggest thing that they can do with the runes is change it slightly or nuke it all together. Through all my time in League, I haven't seen a single rune change where it has drastically changed the landscape, and in the off chance it had, it gets rectified pretty quickly. The only thing you have to spend any sort of appreciable time learning about is items. Unlike champions or runes, items can be quite big system changes, especially the introduction of new items. Items are actually like mini champion releases, because of the way they can severely alter the landscape of each and every game you can queue into. While I was skimming, I stopped multiple times to read and reread through the item changes. Since I play a crit based mid laner, I found myself stopping multiple times this past and recalibrating all the build paths that I previously had and reordering them in my head. I also took the time to read through some of the new mage bullshit that they introduced, because even though I'm not going to buy them, I sure as hell know that I'm going to be on the receiving end. A lot of this guys comes with experience. As with a lot of things, the more time you put into League, the more you'll be able to parse through what's bullshit and what's actually important within a patch. Now here's Rabies' weekly attention span filter. If you made it this far into the video, let me drop the real reason why you shouldn't give a flying fuck about patch analysis or rundowns. It's because of tier lists. Guys, as a small YouTuber, do you know how hard my channel would pop off if I just upload daily patch tier list with a challenger icon shoehorned in the middle? From what I've researched about league content, patch related tier lists are the most popular pieces of content on YouTube. Do you know why I or anyone else worth listening to haven't really made them? It's because they're shameless noob bait. The whole concept of a tier list makes so much sense, right? Especially in the context of League of Legends where there are so many characters and so many items. Tier lists for the mostly casual audiences is completely fine, but any tier list made for the notion of making someone better at the game 
game is really sus in my opinion. The reason is because anyone that's interested in playing an S tier champ from a tier list doesn't really know how to climb in this game. They think playing the S tier champ will simply guarantee them the rank if they spam the game for long enough. The S tier champ exists as an installation for the patch while they're trying their hardest to abuse the champ and have the champ carry them to their desired rank. Do you see what the problem is here? Even if they succeed, they don't belong in that new rank. What happens when their champion gets picked, banned or inevitably nerfed? I'm going to use this analogy even though most of you incels can't relate. When you cold approach women, you can wear the fanciest drip you want. Shit, you can even be jacked and look really good. But if your breath stinks, what good does any of that do for you? What girl is going to entertain you for more than a few seconds? The problem with these patch tier lists is that they give you all the fancy new drip, while what most of you idiots really need is some mouthwash. The concept of abusing a really broken champion is not what I'm trying to vilify here. I'm abusing the most powerful mid laner in this fucking game. The real problem of the new patch tier list and the patch rundowns to some extent is that it's basically shiny object syndrome. Swinging from champ to champ like a monkey on Adderall will not do you any good in the long run. What good is a rank if it makes you terrified to play the game after you achieve it, since you know you just got here by accident? If you guys want to accelerate your league improvement and have spare change lying around, my partnership program is now $10 a month. It comes with champ pool consultation, so you don't have to rely on these headass tier lists for climbing. It also comes with 4 mod reviews a week, solo queue therapy, and 24-7 access to me. Hit me up in the links below if you're interested. The main theme of this video was to not fuck over your champion mastery by listening to useless ass patch rundowns. Click here and watch this video where I explain just how important champion mastery is and tips to boost your own champion mastery. It's literally the most important video on my channel. Other than that, learn to carry your games and remember, anyone can get diamond.